Hi everyone, Bob is in the house and today is the first video in 2018 in our regular uh, environment, you know, like same room, finally uh, I'm here in America, I had an amazing trip uh, in Uzbekistan, it was great, um, now I'm back and um, while I was, you know, traveling, um, I sort of missed um, on certain videos, for example, I didn't do reaction to Bruno Mars' uh, Finies with Cardi B, uh, that was a fantastic song, but we're gonna talk about it a little bit more today, uh, so, like, there was, like, a lot of other details I wanted to talk about, for example, Charlie Puth's new track, or Justin Timberlake, uh, even though I did reaction to it, <laughs> it was deleted, like, I got copyright strike, that was pretty unexpected and uh, unfortunate. Uh, Liam Payne and Read to Order, Fifty Shades of uh, Freed uh, soundtrack. And finally, I really want to talk about this one particularly because it's a hot topic. Like, it's like there's a lot of interesting things going on over there. It's uh, Eminem's uh, new remix of Chloroseptic uh, from, his uh, from his album Revival. And uh, yeah, those are the topics. And uh, I'm excited to cover them because uh, like so many things I didn't uh, do and uh, let's just uh, cover them all in one video. So first I want to start with uh, Bruno Mars uh, Finies uh, featuring Cardi B song. Uh, I didn't do reaction to it, but I thought uh, the song was uh, fantastic. Even though the first listen, I wasn't really feeling it at the first, but then I watched the video, uh, it all made sense, uh, and uh, yeah, it was great. Uh, Cardi B uh, dominating in 2018 as well. Uh, really glad that you know she's in the game. She's uh, amazing. Uh, Bora Kela was good. Uh, and her newer tracks with uh, G Easy like No Limit and uh, Car Cardia Bartier Cardi the, the new single like she's popping like you know she's dominating like she's everywhere now at the point at this point and Cardi B um, I love it. I love her I love her I'm glad that she's in the game and I'm glad that she's collaborating with Bruno Mars like top A artist at this point uh, so fantastic. Uh, if you haven't heard it, uh, give it a listen, it's on YouTube, uh, amazing uh, video as well. Next uh, news, we have Charlie Puth, new track, um, If You Leave Me Now, featuring Boys to Men. Um, this one, like, didn't really grow on me, even though, like, I've listened to it two times or something, it still, like, didn't catch me at all, like, uh, it was pretty bland like in my opinion maybe I should give it even more listens but honestly uh, like attention was great and how long the song was great uh, and ended up being in my best songs of the year but uh, this one like I cer I'm certainly having problems with it like I couldn't get into it um, so that's our my thoughts my thoughts on uh, this Charlie Puth new track let me know what you think about that track uh, do you love it or you also didn't like it sort of uh, you also cannot feel it uh, just uh, interested what you guys think about that track news number three we have Justin Timberlake's filthy uh, filthy like it's a good track uh, although we expected something different um, and uh, honestly, I really loved it uh, even at the first listen. Um, but then, like, when people were saying, no, I cannot feel it, I was like, why? And then um, I understand why. It's really futuristic. It's really, like, sort of, it has only one beat and then uh, it only switches up at the end. Um, you know, uh, everything stays the same, but I, I actually feel it. Uh, and uh, JT's vocals are on there again you know like I mean uh, it's the same JT uh, it's a fantastic JT as usual so like I love him so um, it it um, made it made the track for me personally and the beat is nice I like I like the beat as well what I really want to point out though um, I'm not sure how I'm gonna do reactions to other uh, tracks now like I'm certainly afraid because uh, he has four singles and this was the first one uh, now 
what if I do the second one, third single, fourth single, you know, and uh, what if I will get copyright strikes for them as well, like my channel will uh, get deleted, terminated. Um, and uh, this already happened to this channel before uh, last year in April of 2017. For the whole month, um, my channel was suspended, and I really, it was like a really frustration. It was really frustrating for me because, like, uh, all my progress, all my videos that I've done, you know, um, it was lost. Like, I couldn't even like get it, uh, into my channel uh, and see if the videos up there uh, or the YouTube just like deleted them all you know um, it was frustrating but then uh, I was fighting uh, against it I gave uh, Connor notifications uh, I explained uh, why what I was doing was uh, fair enough you know to be on YouTube and uh, yeah I um, I won that case <laughs> I'm really kind of frustrated I will try it I will uh, not monetize <laughs> the video at first. Let's see what happens. Um, but I'm excited about this uh, album, Man of the Woods, for sure. Like, I'm really excited for that uh, album because it's JT. Uh, hopefully, it will not disappoint. News number four, we have uh, Fifty Shades Freed. Um, I personally uh, like, um, I wouldn't, I even. Uh, will say love uh, Fifty Shades series uh, movie. It's uh, great, and I even did um, soundtrack al like album soundtrack something. Like that. <laughs> anyway, album uh, reaction to the uh, Fifty Shades darker album uh, in this channel. Um, if you want, at the end of the video, just uh, check it out. Um, and like it, it's. The soundtracks are dope every time. Uh, however, this one, I have mm, sort of questions again. Like uh, I thought this was bland, even though I uh, I understand where um, Reed, what Reed the Aura and Liam Payne was trying to do on this track. However, it really f doesn't feel special and like. The emotions are not really there. Comparing to Taylor Swift's and Zayn collaboration, or um, songs from the first part uh, episode where The Weeknd had uh, one of the greatest <laughs> songs in uh, 2015, um, or Ellie Goulding's song, you know, they are much better uh, in comparison to this one. Um, but we'll see what happens and I'm excited for um, other tracks, uh, what are we gonna get and uh, maybe I will do reaction as well uh, for that album because you know every time there are uh, cool artists in the track list uh, for which I'm excited about. So we'll see, we'll see how it goes and I'm excited for the movie. Uh, let me know if you wanna spend the Valentine's Day with me watching the movie. <laughs> Free tickets over here. <laughs> That's for sure, yet you keep coming back for more Not as raw as I was, walk on water so And the last, but not least, Eminem's Chloroseptic Remix That's where my heart is, that's what I want to talk about So Eminem released a new track, Chloroseptic, with 2 chains this time with a rapper And Fresher is a, was one uh, only one rapper in his whole album Revival and uh, Eminem got criticized for it uh, and and we knew that two chains were collaborating with uh, Eminem before, but he didn't end up on the album, and so you know there were a lot of questions why, and uh, they <laughs> they are you know solidified, they are justifiable now uh, even more because this remix is fire, this remix is fantastic, and like two chains uh, killed it with his performance. Fresher had a new verse, which was also dope, but uh, we're gonna talk about Eminem, uh, like Eminem's verse, because, oh my god, there's like uh, so many fruits <laughs> to get from that verse uh, to eat, you know, like to talk about. In this remix, uh, Eminem addresses the, all the criticism uh, he had for the album Revival, and honestly, uh, me myself also criticized it a lot uh, in my reaction video. And uh, Eminem is just like the mixing was horrible. Uh, the songs are not 
that good as they used to be in his uh, other albums. Uh, the passion wasn't there, and uh, like I just hoped that this song, you know, like would end up on the album. Would have ended up on the album, and more songs like that would have ended up on the album revival. Cause like uh, here, the passion is here. Like his delivery was on, on point. Uh, punchy fire like it's amazing uh, fantastic performance like this is this kind of Eminem I really wanted to hear on revival but I we didn't get it you know like uh, almost in any tracks uh, maybe only on the fanded uh, track it was like that but like man I wish he had <laughs> those kind of fire verses uh, on there and another issue of mine was uh, the feeling that Eminem is just not on touch with the world, what is happening in the world right now. Uh, in his rap verses, for example, he always uh, mentions stuff from the past. He mentions Mary Jane, uh, Spider Man, uh, you know, like he references also, uh, like on the track No Favors, for example, not from the revival, but uh, in 2017 he has a track No Favors, he mentions uh, Fergie. Uh, urinating, you know, like uh, she had an accident, accident uh, in two thousands, but it was like a long time ago. And Fer Fergie even said, like, why do you have to uh, remind people old shit? It was like so long time ago, and uh, really, like Eminem was discussing hot topics, and he was referencing, uh, you know, really famous people at that time. Uh, at the time, like in, in its peak of their career were Britney Spears, Gwen Stefani, Hilary Duff, you know, and uh, like he was mentioning them, Moby uh, on Without Me, you know, like he was dissing them and it was all great. I mean, like in terms of, I mean, uh, ha hating on people is not that good, but uh, that's what uh, Eminem's character was. But now like uh, from his generation, Eminem, he's from his generation, you're not really fitting into uh, this millennia, like uh, at this point, uh, like because he's not uh, referencing uh, stuff from this millennia, you know, uh, and it's uh, it's kind of weird. But that was what I was thinking before, uh, before this remix. But now Eminem showed that he uh, is on touch with the world very well, uh, self-aware and uh, aware of everything was going on uh, in the media right now uh, he threw in shots at people uh, and basically telling us uh, like why you guys are criticizing my album although he showed that already in Walk on Water as well when he was telling that I was disappointed when you guys uh, criticized me a lot you know like uh, the, line, uh, the line with the uh, uh, mission accomplished. Uh, it was still different though. Uh, here he uh, like comes in aggressively. He also um, referencing uh, stuff from today. Like that was uh, fantastic. What I really liked about it is, uh, for example, <laughs> reaction videos. Like <laughs> he came, he came at us. You know, like uh, he watching, he's watching reaction videos. That was like fantastic to discover. Uh, and uh, personally, like even though it was a sort, uh, certainly it was a diss uh, on uh, reaction videos on uh, music reactors in particular. Uh, I feel proud that I sort of made into uh, Eminem's uh, track, you know, Eminem's this. Although I'm, uh, I'm highly doubt that Eminem have ever watched me, uh, but um, you know, like I'm also a music reactor, and I also criticized uh, him uh, on my uh, revival reaction. Uh, so yeah, it was directly related to me as well. I love I love that chunk in the lyrics uh, where he discussed about this like uh, like it got me hyped up <laughs> when I was listening to this oh shit like it's, this is lit uh, this is fire you know like when he is talking about uh, not as raw as I was walk on water sucks bitch suck my dick you all saw the track list and had a fit for uh, before you heard it so you formed your verdict while you sat with your arms crossed, did your little reaction videos and uh, talked over songs? <laughs> like, 
nah dog you all saying i lost it your fucking marbles are gone they're like it's just a fucking fantastic remix amazing this i'm really happy that he came off that way that aggressive that uh you know with that fantastic performance uh and at the end he is uh, even giving us hope that eminem is releasing um any new tracks soon and possibly even new album uh, uh soon maybe like next year or something but i'm really hoping that it's not like four years range as it was with this album uh, revival hoping that you know like he's motivated you know now you can see that he's motivated uh to deliver good music to us great fantastic music to us and this remix is one of the like almost the best song it could have been almost the best song in a revival you know so man i'm excited we are all excited for this um and uh, if eminem could deliver uh this consistency uh, in other in his other tracks in his future upcoming tracks and please uh, make it a hip hop record finally like personally I had issues with uh, P and Kilani although I love them um, but they should have not been on Eminem's record you know like or uh, it, like maybe two or three tracks like that but uh, it was like all Macklemore type of shit, you know. Uh, and uh, I love Recovery as well, where he had a lot of female artists. But this one just it didn't work out well uh, on Revival. And um, this time, really hoping that Eminem learned mistakes of mixing, especially like the mixing is the main problem, and uh, lazy sampling is the problem. Please, re re like delete that. Make fantastic beats with Dr. Dre. Uh, you know, uh, this time no Rick Rubin, and uh just yeah make uh, give us the fantastic raps like that and uh, f amazing features hip hop features uh you know just having two chains oh, what's, what's up with the lighting just having two chains was already fire like that you know like have Kendrick Lamar have 50 cent um have uh, relevant rappers of these days as well uh and you will have it uh, one of the best albums uh, of the year or even um, uh, decade. Uh, that was pretty much my take on uh, Chloroseptic uh, remix and also um, I'm glad that I was able to uh, deliver <laughs> people uh, waking up already. <laughs> it's uh, 6.31 a.m. in the morning right now <laughs> to be honest. Uh, I'm gonna end up here because like noise is um, happening in the background. Uh, but yeah, I was happy to, to uh, discuss about this uh, news with you guys and let me know if you liked the this sort of video uh, This kind of edition of news. Um, I personally uh, had fun doing it uh, maybe we'll, we'll do uh, more of this if um, I will not catch up well on songs or whatever if I, I will have something to say uh, so yeah this format uh, me personally I like it uh, let me know if you like it and we'll talk to each other guys really soon uh, reaction videos uh, are still there don't worry about that uh, they are coming music with Bob is kicking in 2017 uh, 2018 and uh, we're gonna do even better than in 2017 that's what I'm confident about and let's do a freaking 2018 the best year uh, we ever had Пока. Хайер. Ауфидерзе. Нервидерчи. Адьос. Чао. Чао. Мауриуар. Хорофис. Аньон. Goodbye.